There's one more little tiny room I forgot to mention, and that is room E239. And this used to be, until quite recently, one of the faculty um, labs here. A certain, certain teacher had his own lab space here where he and his grad students could do some research, um, usually in the biomedical field. Uh, one thing that they worked on was um, epidural needle simulation apparatus that they built for uh, medical professionals to practice sticking needles in spinal cords before they actually do it on, on living humans. Anyway, most of the stuff here has already been cleared out. The teacher took a lot of it out of here already. And just, you know, bookshelves and filing cabinets and some nice workbenches left over. When you first walk in from out in the hallway, you come to this little dinky room here, only 10 feet wide by six feet deep right here. And it's just this one cabinet on the side here and another door. This actually opens up into the wireless communications lab, which we've already been working to clear out a lot of this stuff here. Nothing more but than a bunch of computers and tables to move out of here now. Anyway, back inside here, there's this uh, gallium arsenide crystal lattice model that's been kind of destroyed just from being used and transported from classroom to classroom. It's fallen apart over the years, but I think I want to fix that. And just a few other little things in here, just, you know, leftover computer junk. One really interesting thing I found is this jazz drive. What this is is a one gigabyte removable hard disk storage cartridge. So you'd stick that into a computer slot just like a a floppy disk or something like that, but except this has one gigabyte capacity. I can slide it open here, pull this back, which you really wouldn't want to do if you actually had critical data stored on here, but then you can see the, the two hard disks inside there. Also got down here an old DEC computer, Digital Equipment Corporation. Here's another one on the side just like it. And what's really interesting about these at least that I've seen so far on the exterior, is that it outputs the video in RGB format. So there's individual coax connectors for that, and I think there's a special connector somewhere in here. There it is. Yes, yeah, so that's the connector for the monitor connection, and then there's RGB B and C connectors that go directly into the monitor. Oops. An old laptop up here that's seen better days. Look at that, the monitor's just falling apart. And then over here in the main little office slash lab space, leftover books, computer on a desk. Got this and that one up there, a couple of ancient printers. And some leftover projects from the teachers built over the years. Got no idea what this is. Has some nice little analog devices, isolation amplifiers right there. It says preamp on the top where a pot used to go. And there's this contraption right here. Very back to the future Doc Brown labeling on all the knobs and buttons and stuff. And the construction looks like wire wrap. All these logic circuits here, wire wrap, oops, wire wrap connections. And I've looked at this already, and I think that the most interesting part here seems to be gold plated 741 op amp. That's awesome. Then there's this thing over here, bunch of more 741s right here, cardboard tube with some metal washers taped to the side of it. Got no idea what that's for. Nice view out these two windows right here. These trailers out here, these are actually classrooms. They were put up about two years ago and over the summer they're going to convert these into the bookstore because the current bookstore is going to be demolished in for making way of a new building that's going to go in its place. So that's about it. Just this little tiny lab space, nice and cozy. 
and I hear that this is going to be converted into janitorial storage for all the mops and buckets. Now here's a blast from the past that I found in the desk. It's a Radio Shack TRS-80 flowchart template. Look at that. Pull it out of the sleeve here. So there it is. They sure don't make these anymore, at least not for a Radio Shack TRS-80.